Hey guys, I'm here with my uh, 2019 Rad Mini. I, uh, a few years ago, I upgraded the controller to the 35 amp controller. I also at the same time put the true 750 watt Bafang motor uh, in the back. Uh, both were pretty easy mods to do. I think I've shown how to do those in previous videos. Um, but I've had a few requests. Oh, I should also say I still have the standard uh, Rad batteries. Um, so I've had a few requests to uh, go over the settings for the uh, 35 amp controller. It's a little bit different for the Rad Mini than it is for uh, other bikes. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So to get into the settings menu, when you hit the power button, as long as you hit these two up and down buttons within the first four to five seconds, it'll take you to the menu. So once you're into your settings, you use the up and down arrows to get to whatever unit you need to get to. And use the power button if you need to change the unit, it'll start flashing. And then you can change it up and down to whatever. And then hit enter again to go to the next one or stop it. And then to get back to uh, the main menu, you just hit the power button and hold it. And it'll bring you back to that menu. All right, so we'll start at the top here, and LIM is the speed limiter. It's just set to the max at 72 kilometers an hour. The next one will be your tire dimension. Uh, with the Mini having 20-inch tires, you set it to 23 inches is what I recommend. All right, so your next one is units. Uh, you have four choices here from 0 to 3. 0 is kilometers per hour in Celsius. One is miles per hour in Celsius, two is kilometers per hour in Fahrenheit, and three is miles per hour in Fahrenheit. All right, next is P1, which is your motor characteristic parameter. As on the Mini, it's a geared hub motor, which is at 100. If you have a direct drive motor, it's 46. Next is P2, which is the motor pulse magnet setting which is the number of magnet pulses generated per revolution of the wheel. So on the Mini, it's set to 5. Now P3 is the relationship between pedal assist and power. You have your choice of 0 or 1 here. 0 is your throttle is limited by the pedal assist level, and 1 is full throttle whenever you want it. P4 is your precondition for throttle use. Uh, zero is throttle works whenever you use it. One is throttle works only when you are pedaling, which is kind of silly. I don't know why anybody would choose that one, so zero it is on that one. All right, so P5 could be different for everybody, but with the standard RAD 48-volt uh, battery, you set it to zero, which is a smart monitoring mode. But if you have a different battery or a larger 52 volt battery, you might have to play with these settings to get the proper battery monitor display on your bolt and monitor. C1 is pedal assist sensitivity setting, which goes from 0 to 7. Uh, I don't know much about this setting. It was set to 3 in the parameters on the settings list that I looked at, so I set it to 3. C2 is your motor phases. It says do not change, so leave that at zero. C3 is your default level of pedal assist when your bike is switched on. Mine is set to two, you can, it's your preference for this one. So you can set it from one to five, but you can also set it to eight. So whatever you powered the bike off at, it'll default back to that when you turn the bike back on. Okay, C4 is throttle control. Uh, you have 0 or 1 here. 0 is throttle always works and has full power. 1, the throttle works up to 6 kilometers an hour without pedaling and full power if you do pedal. Alright, so C5 is your maximum controller output. You have choices of 0 through 10 here. A lot of people say to set it through 5. My preference, I set it to 6. Uh, so zero is a very slow start up till you get to maximum current and then it slowly goes up from there like five is 75% of your maximum current, six is 80% and 
and so on, all the way up to 10, which is 100% of your maximum current, which is 1,680 watts, which is a little high on the power end for your uh, wires and so on. So your safest bet is to set it at 5 or below. C6 is the next on the list, which is your backlight adjustment, where you have settings 1 through 5, where 1 is the least bright and 5 is the most bright. I set it right in the middle at 3. C7 is going to be your cruise control. 0 is off, 1 is on. I like to have cruise control, so it's on. C8 is your motor temperature sensor. Uh, there isn't a motor temperature sensor on the Rad Mini, so it's off at 0, 1 is on. On to C9, it's a password. You have to be careful with this one, because if you ever forget your password, there's no turning this thing back on again. So, 0 is on, or sorry, 0 is off, 1 is on. C10 is your uh, reset to default. Uh, if you click on that, no or yes, um, then you hit your power button and you'll set all your settings back to default. C11 is your communication protocol setting. I don't know what it is. It says in the manual, do not change. So I left that at zero. C12 is your minimum voltage cutoff point. Uh, apparently four is 40 volts when you're... Uh, bike will shut itself off when it gets to the lowest minimum of your battery. Uh, you don't want to go lower than this or you might damage your battery, so leave this at 4. C13 is going to be your regenerative braking. The Rad Mini doesn't have regenerative braking, so you leave it at 0. Okay, moving on to C14, the power assist tuning which you can choose from 1 through 3. 1 is less power assist, 2 is regular power assist, and 3 is more power assist. I have it set to 3, like lots of power, and there we go. The rest of the settings here, L1 through 4, are advanced feature settings, which you do not use, so I just left them the way they came. All right, hopefully that gives you a little better understanding of uh, what all the settings do in the Bolton 35 amp controller. And you can figure out and tweak it yourself. These are only recommended settings. So yeah, tweak it yourself, find out what all the different settings do, now that you know what they are, and enjoy your ride. Keep riding. Take care, guys.